What is up everyone, Nordzeit here and the previous server has been patched and the patch notes has been released. So we are here to check them out. Now the first thing in order, uh, upon launch of mod 22 we had an issue that all our artifact modifications were grayed out. And for the players who were impatient like me, I just bought a bunch of cubes and unlocked certain things. However, and in between that and this fix they also gave us 220 cubes of augmentation which was not enough for alts and all the weapons we have if i look here we, i have a lot of weapons not all of them are here with these artifact modifications so we had this grayed out this grayed out and we had to unlock them as you can see and then roll back but in the end after i don't know two weeks or something like that uh, they fix this and when you log in today on the live shard this all will be unlocked and I will read from the patch notes what they actually did. The second thing in order is that the ancient scale breaker queries for example all any AA ancient gear that can be upgraded but you can see it's reinforced with major accuracy armor kit now can be upgraded and you will get your reinforcement kit back. So let's test this out. We're going to go into the campaigns, Dragonborn Vale, store, and we are going to go to the actual raider for the gear, really quick. I have prepared Crimson Scalebreaker Ward Kuras, you can see here, and I should be able to get now my modification back if I buy it. And here we go, it works, you can see I got my major accuracy armor kit back, and I have upgraded the armor, as you can see here which is now without any modification so it's in my inventory somewhere here so let's go and check out the patch notes and wrap the video up really quick here we are patch notes highlights artifact modifications that had been reset with the launch of dragonborn veil have been recovered as i said for players who use cues of, of augmentation to boost their modifications the best verse of old versus new modification will be applied which is good. This means that if a player had, for example, a modification of 400 prior to Dragon Ball Veil launch, but rolled a 350 on the stat, after the modification were reset, the modification will be restored to plus 400. Also, if a player had a modification of 300 plus 325 prior to the launch, but rolled a 375 after, their 375 will be capped. So yes, it took them a while, but they fixed this and that's it um, kudos to that now the patch notes are not too lengthy so i will leave the link in the description i will just read the items and economy one ancient scale breaker items which i showed you apply with armor kits can now be traded to the dragon Marvel merchant for two upgrade which i also showed you armor kits will be returned when this exchange happens this actually works and i had to check it out of course on the previous shard there are other uh, known issues remaining there are also minor user interface uh, fixes and but that's pretty much it just read the patch notes what i wanted to mention is also that the xbox and playstation 4 communities were they didn't have reapers challenge for i think four or five days and that is fixed now however i think the compensation would be in order because people do, are doing that for various reasons for the callers etc so i think they should implement a patch for the playstation and also uh, xbox uh, and just um, compensate that's it compensate those four or five days give everybody a free reaper challenge mark and i think that that would be fair so thank you for watching this was north side and north side is out